Okay, this is the unboxing and startup of the DBX2 digital bar graph. And uh, get a couple items out of the road and do this. We got this. Flip like that. Here's the owner's manual, as you can see. DBX2 firmware version 1.35. Okay. We got the power pack right there. And we've got the barometer right there. We'll come back in just a second and try to get those in operation. Okay, so what we're going to do now, first off, is get the power pack out of the package right here, and we'll put that over here. We do have a dedicated extension cord for that, and then we'll get the barometer itself out of the package, and we'll set this down here. Now, the way I understand it is, first off, you plug the power pack into the power source. Then you take and plug the power source into the port, and there you go. Starting up ASI, model DBX2, and it shows 985.04 millibars. And we'll have to figure out how to set it up. And to do that, I know we have to put in our elevation above sea level. So, we're right back. Alright, so what I'm doing now is setting the elevation. We're 794 feet above sea level. So the first two digits on the right hand side the 12, 11, 10, 9, etc. Take that back to 94. And then we can go over. I think this is the way it's done. Apparently not. Hit the bottom button there, you see. Well, that ain't right either. Alright, let's go back. And I don't want to do that. Uh, it takes a little bit of trial and error to get things set up. You have to hold the second button down until it says change display at the bottom of the display. Um, for the menu, I think. Yeah, right there. You press that bottom button, then you go down. Elevation, you press that again. Oh, you press one of them. Which one is it? bottom one. Okay, so we're back to square one. We did not get it set. So let's go to 94. Select that. Press the map. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. There you go. Oh, wrong one. There you go. Then you press this button down here at the bottom. And that sets it. 
And there you have 794 feet above sea level. Okay, so once I finally fooled around with the proper buttons and got out of the setup menu, I got to the inches reading and it says 2993.9 or 29.939. And I looked at the uh, reading for the Cambridge Municipal Airport which is 799 feet above sea level which is only five feet higher than I am and the New Philadelphia Airport the Harry Clever Field in Tuscarawas County which is 892 feet above sea level that's uh, about 98 feet higher than I am so I took the Cambridge reading there at 2995 as of 536 p.m. It's 559 p.m. now that was 23 minutes ago and my reading is on this thing one hundredth of an inch lower than what Zanesville or Cambridge is and that might catch up the next reading that uh, Cambridge puts out uh, right here is the source if this focuses in you can see the readings there um, and this is on the official National Weather Service National Oceanic and Atmospheric website this is a pretty neat website that I came across accidentally a couple of years ago, several years ago in fact. But uh, maybe it didn't have the high, there it is, 29.95. You might be getting some flutter because of the uh, screen. But there's that, 2994. I mean, I cannot complain about that at all.